Hey everyone, it is Josh here with HostGator. Today I'm going to show you how to update your host file. This is one of the best ways to view your site on a different server without actually changing the DNS and having to wait for propagation. It can be really helpful if you're migrating your site to a new server, spinning up a new one just to test before you change the DNS, or making any changes to your site before you go live. As always, if you like the content that we're making, please feel free to give it a like and subscribe, but if you're ready to go, let's get started. We're going to start things off today with a split screen. On the right hand side, I've got my customer portal open. On the left hand side, I've got a knowledge base article with exact steps on how to do this. It's also going to show you how to do this for different versions of Windows, Mac, and different Linux systems as well. Since I have a Windows 10 laptop, we're going to go ahead and use mine as an example, but you can find all the instructions in this article and I'll link it in the description below. Before we get to the fun stuff, let me tell you a little bit about what I'm trying to do today. I'm going to start out here in my customer portal. Scroll down just a little bit. As you can see, I've got a few different hosting packages here on my customer portal. Now I've got two with the exact same primary domain, b-redpit.com. I have a shared business plan and I also have a cloud business plan. Now right now, my domain is pointed to the shared business plan, but I want to see what it looks like on the cloud business plan. Before we go making any changes, let me show you the site as it exists on my shared business plan. I'm going to use Josh Makes Tutorials as my example today. As you can see, I've got a fully built out site here. But the first thing I want to do is check exactly where it's pointed. I'm going to use Leaf DNS. It's going to be able to tell me exactly what my DNS records are for this domain right now. I'm going to scroll down a little bit to the bottom here. As you can see, I've got my A record, an IP address right here. And I can tell that this is pointed to my cPanel by matching it to the exact one that's inside my cPanel. If we scroll down a little bit here, we can see that the site IP is 192.185.5.213. If I head back to Leaf DNS, you can see that matches exactly. So I know that currently this site is pointed to Gator4038, which is my shared business plan. Now that I've figured out where my site is currently pointed, let's see where we want to point it to to test. I've got another cPanel here. This is for my cloud business plan. So I'm going to do the same thing, scroll down here, and I'm going to get my site IP for this server. I'm going to copy that into a safe place so I can use it later. Now that I have that IP address saved, we can start to make our changes. I have a brand new WordPress install on my joshmakestutorials.com on the cloud server, and I want to see if I can actually look at that through my web browser. First thing I'm going to do is come down here to the search bar on the bottom or press the Windows key. I'm going to search for the program Notepad. Once I've got that program located, I'm actually going to right click and then click Run as Administrator. Now once I do this, my screen's actually going to go black and you're not going to be able to see it, but Windows is going to ask me if I'm okay with letting this program change settings on my computer. You'll be okay with that, so click OK. Once you do, Notepad will open, you'll be ready to go. So I'm going to click Run as Administrator. Now that I've clicked Yes, you can see that we have Notepad open here on my left-hand side. Once this is up, we're going to click File, and we're going to click Open. Now we need to look for our host file in the system. It's in a very specific location in Windows, so I'll show you exactly how to get there. First thing we're going to do is click on local disk. We're going to scroll down until we see Windows. Double click there. Now we're going to scroll down until we find System32. Click there. Now we're going to scroll down until we find Drivers. Double click there again. Next folder we're looking for is Etsy, ETC. Double click there. And if you don't see anything in this folder directly, no worries. Let's go over here and select text documents and click all files. Now we can see we've got our host file up here, so I'm going to double click that. Now that we've located it, welcome to your host file. This is the file in your Windows system that maps IP addresses to host names, and we can actually trick it into looking at different servers for a domain name. If you notice, there'll be some information in here already. Each of these hashtags is actually commenting out that line, meaning it's not being read right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very end or the bottom of the file, and we're going to add some information so that we can see our site on a different server. If you remember earlier, we tracked down our site IP for the cloud server. What I'm going to do here is copy this IP address, paste it into the host file, hit space, and now I'm going to paste my domain name that I'd like to see. That's going to be joshmakesutorials.com. I'm going to do another space and I'm going to add a www in case I'm using www protocol. And now that I've got that entire line, this is exactly what you'll put inside of your host file. All we need to do now is go up to file and click save. Now that I've got my host file updated, it's time to test these changes. So I'll make sure that that file was saved. Now let's go take a look and see if my site is still pointing to the Gator4038. So what I'm going to do is actually open up an incognito window just to make sure that there's no browser cache being stored. I'm going to click these three dots. New incognito window here. Once I've got that set, now I'm going to test my site just by viewing it in this incognito browser. 
And look at that, I'm actually viewing the information on my cloud server, not viewing anything on the old shared server where the DNS is currently pointed. Now, if I wanted to make changes to my site, build a brand new one, really anything I wanna do, I'm able to do that now with my host file modified. Now, it's important to note that any changes I make to my site right now would effectively be changed on the new server. So this would be my cloud server. This is the server that I'm making the changes currently on. It's not gonna affect my site as the DNS is live on my Gator 4038 box, but if I wanna revert back and see the site on the old server, I effectively have to remove this from my host file. Go up here, click save again, and then refresh my site. And see, just like that, it's back to viewing information on the server it's currently pointed to. Now, in the off chance that you save your host file and you keep refreshing the site and it's not actually showing the changes that you've made, there's one more thing that you can do to ensure you're seeing the site on the exact server that you want to. What we want to do is flush the DNS cache from our Windows system, and I'll show you how to do that really quickly. You'll have these instructions inside the KB article, but I'm going to copy this over. I'm going to search terminal, look for command prompt, and it's going to bring up my Windows terminal for this workstation. I'm going to run ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, run that, and as you can see, my Windows system has successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. And that's pretty much it for updating your host file. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, if you like the content that we're making, please feel free to subscribe, give it a like on YouTube, and let us know in the comments below what you think. Thanks, y'all.